Welcome back to another video. I'm gonna show you guys how to import your stems and how to export your stems. So let's just say for example, you're recording at a recording studio. You're able to export the stems from that session file and transport them into your email, your hard drive. That way you can edit or make adjustments. With that in mind, you have the ability with stems to arrange a song differently. You have stems for the vocals, stems for every instrument. Ultimately, it's a beat dissected. It's important because when you buy a beat exclusively, you have unlimited rights to a beat. You want full control over that track, full control over those masters. I like to use Studio One. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let's go. So I got some stems right here and I'm about to just go ahead and import them i'm using a mac so it just expanded them it's a folder right here i'm gonna open the folder and shout out my boy dk he made this beat but i'm gonna just drag and drop it into studio one and as you can see it's all arranged the way that my boy did it in his studio so what my boy dk included he included the master for me this is the entire beat right here by itself but so make sure if you get stems from your whoever the producer is make sure that uh you can locate the master but everything else is should be named so let's see hold on this current so this is the full beat too all right so i'm gonna mute the master and whatever this current is now let's try here's the melody so this is the melody by itself. So this is our hi So what if you just wanted to kick? I'm dissecting the beat now. I could mix it how I want to. So if I want to throw a kick, uh, EQ. You see what I'm saying? Like this is what people do. And I'm not, this is not how I would do it. I'm just showing you that you can do whatever to it. Like even with this melody here, if you want to add some drip. Like, I don't know what it's going to sound like. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not doing this for, to actually make a beat. I'm doing this to show you. See how it sounds different. So if I were to turn it off, that's how it sounds. If I turn on the drip, that might be an effect you want to throw on there. So that's the power of being able to arrange the song how you want to. Same thing with vocals. So same thing with uh, exporting it. So when you, let's just say, instead of importing this, let's just say you just arrange this beat. I'm gonna take this off, these two. I'm gonna hide these tracks. So let's just say, uh, you want to export and this was a beat that you made in Studio One. Let's drag it out all the way to the end. And uh, that's the looper bar. When I say it, drag it out, the looper bar. And go to song and go to export stems or you can do shift, control, or command E. So as you can see, all the uh, tracks are right here to the left. And you can click what you want and what you don't want. Um, so, yeah. so you have to click the check. You can't actually click the actual name of it. And these are muted. Like These are the two that I muted and I also hide in them. So I'm not going to use those. It'll tell you what you muted and what you didn't. The colors are coded and the names, of course. And then you can set the location on where you want it to be. So let's go to desktop and... I'll just go to open, name the, you know, my new beat, whatever your beat is, or, you know, your session. It might be the name of your song because this is for vocals, it's for everything. And yes, it will, if you have any effects on here, it will export, like, like I said, I got the drip on here. It's going to export the drip as well. So my new beat, publishing, I'm going to show you guys how to upload the SoundCloud straight from Studio One in another video. You can choose what you want in the formats, wave, MP3, just for the sake of my computer space right now. Uh, bit rate, make sure your bit rate's never 64, uh, at least 192. Um, people do recommend wave, but like I said, for the sake of my computer, right? 44.1. Between loop, yes, we got that. And 
leave the rest, preserve mono tracks, use, yes. All right, click OK. And so now it's bouncing. Now I'm not worried about the clipping because I just was trying to make an adjustment so you guys can understand the different, the point of having stems, the point of being able to, because you might've recorded your song in a studio and you probably only was there for the microphone, but you got to do the mixing somewhere else. Or, you know what I'm saying? This is, you, this is your time to do the mixing. So whatever the case may be, uh, stems are real powerful for, for, for those things, for having full control over your song. Even it's powerful, in my case, it's powerful to make new songs too. Like I can use the same kick for right a different song. So do I want to delete it just because of clip? No. And bow, there it is. You see it all popped up. It's all right here. Um, now it did it separately. If I want to put it in a folder, you already know how to right click it and uh, create a folder with this. Um, call them new stems. But that's what we're working with over here. DK did this in his studio and then he sent it to me. So it just, it just works that way. That's how you send stems. If you found this video to be helpful, like this video, hit the subscribe button. It's 2021. It's time to get this thing moving, man.